Welcome. Today is day 33 of our 40 days of fasting and prayer. My name is Mariah and I'm the children's ministry admin here at Harvest Time Church Eau Claire. For today's devotional, we are going to be looking at Hebrews 11 from the New Living Translation. I'm not going to read the whole chapter, but highly encourage you to do that if you have the time today. So first off, we're going to look at Hebrews 1 to 3. Um, this chapter is titled, Great Examples of Faith. So, faith shows the reality of what we hope for. It is the evidence of things we cannot see. Through their faith, the people in the days of old earned a good reputation. By faith, we understand that the entire universe was formed at God's command. That what we see now did not come from anything that can be seen. Next, we're going to look at Hebrews 11, 8 to 19. It was by faith that Abraham obeyed when God called him to leave home and go to another land that God would give him as his inheritance. He went without knowing where he was going. And even when he reached the land God had promised him, he lived there by faith, for he was a foreigner living in tents. And so did Isaac and Jacob, who inherited the same promise. Abraham was confidently looking forward to a city with eternal foundations, a city designed and built by God. It was by faith that even Sarah was able to have a child. Though she was barren and was too old, she believed that God would keep his promise. And so a whole nation came from this one man who was good as dead. A nation with so many people that, like the stars in the sky and sand on the seashore, there was no way to count them. All these people died, still believing what God had promised them. They did not receive what was promised, but they saw it all from a distance and welcomed it. They agreed that they were foreigners and nomads here on earth. Obviously, people who say such things are looking forward to a country they can call their own. If they had longed for the country they came from, they could have gone back. But they were looking for a better place, a heavenly homeland. That is why God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he has prepared a city for them. It was by faith that Abraham offered Isaac as a sacrifice when God was testing him. Abraham, who had received God's promises, was ready to sacrifice his only son Isaac, even though God had told him, Isaac is the son through whom your descendants will be counted. Abraham reasoned that if Isaac died, God was going to bring him back to life again. And in a sense, Abraham did receive his son back from the dead. Hebrews 11 references so many promises of God and this is just a piece of it, just Abraham's story and just a piece of that. There are the stories of faith of Abel, Enoch, Noah, Abraham, Sarah, Isaac, Jacob, Joseph, Moses, the people of Israel, Rahab, Gideon, Barak, Samson, Jephthah, David, Samuel, and all the prophets, and so many more throughout the Bible. In verses 39 and 40, it says, all these people earned a good reputation because of their faith, yet none of them received all God had promised. For God had something better in mind for us, so that they would not reach perfection without us. So, continue each day to go in faith like those before us, trusting God in what he has asked you to do. We might not be around for the outcome and completion of the promise, but God keeps his promises. At reference in scriptures, Abraham's promise from God was inherited by his descendants. So continue to go to God knowing that he can be trusted and he is a promise keeper. Again, take time to read all of Hebrews 11 today to remind yourself of all the promises and let it help remind you that if he did it before, he can do it again. Thanks for tuning in for today's devotional. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.